Oh, hey. Um, I didn't think you'd still be awake. No, yeah, I, um, I come in sometimes to check in on you. You know, make sure your phone's plugged in and your alarms are set. Why are you still up? Oh, are you okay? Oh, come here. What happened? Why are you so upset? Oh, you spent the whole weekend studying? I'm sorry I wasn't here to help you. I've been, um, taking care of a few things. For us, you know. I... Uh, I know it's exam season, but... I don't understand why you're so worried. I mean... You do pretty okay in all of your classes. What has you so worried? You got your results back from your Friday's exam? And how was it? Oh. Are you sure? The teacher must have made a mistake. That's... Are you positive? Look at me. Look into my eyes. Are you really sure? I should have known. No, 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 no. No, don't. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not angry with you. I can never be angry with you. I'm angry with your teacher. I mean. No, no, it's. I know you studied hard for that test. I'm sure you should have gotten an A. I'm even sure that you probably answered most of the questions right. There's... There's something I didn't tell you. It happened a little bit ago. And I, it just... It didn't seem important at the time. Um... And I didn't want to worry you with it. And I really thought I had the situation under control. So, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't. And I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. Your teacher. Um, <laughs> let's just say your teacher uh, wants something more than the professor-pupil relationship from you. Yes, I'm sure. Why would I say that if I wasn't sure? They, um... Let's just say before class a few times, I may have gone into your desk where you normally sit without you knowing, and I found a couple of letters uh, written by your teacher, addressed to you. And they said some pretty heinous, disgusting, and vile things in there. I mean, when I was courting you, I, I completely understand that I was slightly overbearing. I would never in a million years write anything like that to you. And they... And then, uh, your teacher must have noticed that we were getting close. 
But your teacher must have also misunderstood the nature <laughs> of her relationship. So, one day after class, your professor approached me and asked something that a teacher should never ask. If you were single and um, that didn't sit right with me. So, I paid your teacher a visit. She was a little bit uh, surprised to see me outside of office hours at her house. And, um, <laughs> I had an adult conversation with her, heart to heart, um, on exactly what type of relationship she was to have with you moving forward. I mean, Scars should not have healed yet, so she should still have that reminder of exactly who not to mess with in her class. Of course, she must have known that she could never get close to you physically. I would kill her. I would happily kill her if she came So, she decided to mess with your grade. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. I thought that she would be a professional about this. <laughs> I mean, what kind of loser can't take a rejection? Don't look at me like that. No, we were meant to be. You just needed some help seeing that. Why would you ever want to be with a woman like her? Petty. Vile. Anyway. So, stop crying, okay? I can take care of this for you. I'm happy to take care of this for you. So wipe off those tears. Oh, your smile looks so cute. Take care of you. You know that, right? I mean, after all, you're my reason for living. You're the reason I wake up in the morning, and you're the very last thought I have before I go to sleep at night. I'd do anything for you. Really, I would. So, let me take care of this for you. And please, go to sleep. It's really late. You don't need to worry about this anymore. That grade was a fluke, and it wasn't your fault. It was mine. So please go to sleep. I'm sure you're gonna do great on your tests. You're so smart. Look at me. Who's so smart? That's right, you are. You're so smart. So come on, let's go to bed. There we go. Let me tuck you in. No, no, I can't stay. I have, um, somebody to visit. Everything will be just right when you wake up in the morning, okay? So sleep tight.